Before we jump into the vlog, I just wanted to take a minute and show you guys some of the pieces that I just recently got from one of my all-time favorite jewelry brands. So if you've been watching my channel for a minute, you know that I wear Ana Luisa jewelry literally all the time. I've already showed you guys some of these pieces in previous vlogs. I've showed you guys on my Instagram stories and I just love them so, so much. And I just got a few pieces from them and I'm just super excited to show you guys. So first and foremost I wanted to show you what the packaging looks like when you get it so they all all of the pieces come in their own little bag which I just think is so cool and it makes it easy for if you are traveling with jewelry so this one is like this this is khaki color it is metal clasps like this so the jewelry is not gonna fall out so I love that a whole lot all right, getting into it, I got two necklaces that I love so much. I have this one, which is perfect for layering um, any type of necklaces. Uh, that's how I use it. I have a thicker one from them as well, and I like to layer them together. I also got this one. If you can tell, it is just this pretty green little stone in it, and it's gold. I love it a lot. Sometimes I do layer these together as well, and I got a ring to match, so I wear this ring literally all the time I took it on my last vacation with me I just think it's really cute like a staple ring piece and I love it a lot the next piece of jewelry I got from them is just this little braided ring and this one is so simple and so dainty and I can just like throw it on whatever hand and I like to pair these two rings together because one is like a statement and the other one's just like super dainty and I just think they look really cute on my hands and then last but not least I got these gold hoop earrings i think they're the perfect size they are so stinking cute and just like so simple to throw on with any type of outfit it can like dress up an outfit really really quickly so yeah i love the pieces that i picked out so much other so pieces are perfect if you want to treat yourself or if you want to get like a little happy for somebody else they're literally such good quality i've been wearing their jewelry um for like literally months and they still are in perfect condition there's also a 365 day warranty is should anything happen to your jewelry pieces they are super affordable and they cater to just about any type of budget that you are on so they have pieces starting at $39 and then going all the way up and guys I'm being serious when I tell you that this is like good quality jewelry actually having a site-wide sale right now all the information that you need is down below so yeah I would definitely go check it out like I said it's perfect for a gift for someone or just if you want to treat yourself so once again Again, all the info is going to be down below make sure you check out their site-wide sale say thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sending me this stuff I literally love them so much without further ado let's go ahead and get into my vlog hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Michaela and I am going to be a fourth year fourth grade teacher and I've been doing my classroom setups so if you're new here go ahead and subscribe I'll have all the other classroom setups down below in the description box and yeah if you've been following along um, this is gonna be the fourth video of my classroom setup I actually came up here a few days that I didn't vlog just because I just did like a little couple things here and there so really quickly I'm gonna show you guys and update you on the state of my classroom today i really want to get a lot of things done and accomplished because um i have uh, two days today and tomorrow until we officially have to come here for in service so i've been coming up here just on my own time all of that to say i want to get a lot done today um so i'm going to show you really really quickly what i got done these other days so first and foremost i took all of the shelves off of this wall so i have them stacked up here until i can give them to the plant manager essentially i have only ever used them in the past three years as like some place to hold decor and i don't want to use that anymore and since things have to still be spaced out i figured that it would be really nice to just have that space open so that is the first thing second thing i've put all the extra storage until i can figure out how to use it over here in this area i went ahead and i think in the last video i showed you i got this fabric i found that from like the schoolgirl style um i can't really remember what it's actually called um and then it's like this boho coral color got this one um like ready to go 
Um, so just like this like little pink palette. I can't decide if I'm going to use this one um, this year. Probably will, but I just got tired of putting them together so that they're not done yet. Got this board already. And then one of my favorite things that I've done so far is I got these from Elementary in the Mitten on Teachers Pay Teachers. And I got these picture frames from the Dollar Tree. So I have influential people and their quotes. I got five of them. So I'm going to figure out where I need to put those today. I did this little thing. You guys will see what it looks like. It's going to say we are all and then readers is going to go underneath it. All of these things I got from these beads Hobby Lobby, this burlap stuff from Dollar Tree, these from Dollar Tree uh, and I actually can't buy them anymore so I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Popsicle sticks I painted pink. Um, these tiles are from Hobby Lobby. This is just a piece of paper glued on here and then I got these paper clips from um, Dollar Tree. So yeah I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do over here and then I got these baskets from Dollar or I got these baskets from Goodwill and I'm going to try to figure out how I want to do like a little boho basket wall decor type thing and then I got these from Five Below. They're little like blow up ottomans. It says they're supposed to hold up to 200 pounds um, in weight and so I may do those for these but I forgot that I'm gonna have the district here and people are gonna be using this for professional development which means all my flexible seating kind of needs to go into the corner for right now until they get out of here because no adult is gonna want to sit in my flexible seating finally set out chairs I'm actually missing quite a few chairs but I do have some flexible seating but I also just like to have enough chairs for everybody because there is the rare like chance that one of my kids doesn't like flexible seating and they just want like a traditional chair and desk so I do like to have those on hand so I will need um, to get those but I went ahead and put everything back on the edge I know last time I said that I was working from the inside out but that just wasn't working for me so I do need to blow those up um, there's actually a piece missing to plug it so I kept blowing them up and then they kept deflating so I'm waiting on my mentor teacher to find those for me before I can do these and yeah i think i've officially decided that i am going to keep those bookshelves there for right now um, and then the most exciting thing of them all they are a little crooked but i just have them up here like this and it says we are all readers i'm gonna find some stuff to go like right here and then there it is so i really like the way that this turned out i do have to find something to cover these um it almost doesn't matter just because there's a lot going on so you don't even notice but um yeah so have that gonna find some like decor stuff to stick over there and i think i'm gonna start unloading my bookshelves now over here I still have to go through I have like sets of some stuff I need to figure out um, that these are like picture books that I kind of want out I have them all in here more are gonna go right here I just haven't figured that out like which ones I want to go there I'm gonna start breaking down these boxes so that there's like another thing that's out of the way I glued these over here and the issue with this is that I only have six of them. I have 16 of the posters and I only have six of these up because I had them with these. So got the border put up here and over here. So yeah, we are rocking and rolling. I think I'm gonna go and try to put up the baskets right now. I have my hot glue gun over there, so I need to move it. 
But yeah, slowly but surely, it is 11.22. That totally didn't focus, but watching Jane the Virgin to try to... Oh, I didn't show you guys this. Um, I'm going to get these laminated. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to use my own lamination or the school because these are so expensive. I always put these on my Amazon wish list because they're, they're just expensive. Um, but if you can see me on the glare, it says amazing work coming soon. So I also have to figure out where I want the work to go. It'll probably go over here or maybe like, I don't know. But um, so I can like display student work. The more I look at this, the more I want more right there. But the thing with Dollar Tree is like every single Dollar Tree has different things and I have yet to find the frames. So yeah, I only got five of them. Wait, maybe I got six. No, I only got five. Dang it. About to stop for a lunch break but I just wanted to show you guys what I've done really quickly I can't remember when the last time I picked up the camera was so I'm gonna show you this is what it looks like so far um, I'm gonna obviously put some more over here right now this is just tin and I just put these up so I could get a visual I do need to do lamination on them um, I think I'm gonna do a target pickup order pretty soon um, so yeah still need to figure out this um, I'm slowly trying to get this stuff figured out I have no idea I truly just do not know so that's where we're at right now here is how it turned out I couldn't love this anymore even if I tried so stinking cute I may put another one right here I've actually got two more I think so I may put one up there I just need to figure it out um, and then I moved this one it was over here I moved over here I'm gonna get something to cover that um, I really like the way that this color looks on there but I don't think I have enough to actually fully cover it so I need to get more fabric over there um, I threw up my calendar just for looks um, I need to get command strips I may do that on my target pickup but yeah slowly and surely we are just trying to figure all this stuff out <music> and put these right here um, these are from the Dollar Tree these are from Amazon I believe and now I think I'm going to stack these up um, I actually don't you know I keep saying I don't know if I want to keep them and that still deems true um, I need to go through these eventually I'll probably leave that for tomorrow so this is what it is looking like um, I've been slowly but surely like taking things out of boxes i think this may be i have a box over here and a box over there so i think that'll be the last of my boxes um but yeah so i'm trying to wrap i have those two still don't know what i'm doing with those i'm trying to wrap my head okay i have to get more of those so i don't know i don't know what we'll do about the frames i may just have to take the frames out and just put like a whole bunch of them i have 16 of them Okay, we'll figure it out. I just like the frames. Maybe we can repurpose the frames for something else. So my camera, my memory card ran out of space. So we're finishing this up on a iPhone vlog. Anyways, moral of the story is I don't know what to do about these. I don't like how it looks. It just like looks bare with five of them. I have 16 that I bought. Um, over here, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do because now that I am departmentalized, 
Um, essentially, okay, now that I'm departmentalized, my kids will have to go back and forth. And especially since I'm not using traditional seating, um, so I need to figure out where they're going to store things. So I am hoping that I can figure out some type of system over there. Um, that's what my kids kept their stuff in last year. Um, but then like art boxes and all this stuff serves a different, I don't know, we'll have to think about it. I'm not gonna get stressed out right now just because there's a lot of things up in the air about that stuff. So anyways, I have all the desks that I'm not currently using. So because I brought in some of my own tables, I actually am ending up having more. But like I said in one of my previous vlogs, I cannot put anything out into the hallway until I'm 100% sure that I don't want them anymore because people are scavengers when it comes to the gray top tables. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I even want on this board. Um, it's either gonna be a writing board or something. I have no idea y'all, I really don't. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm just gonna, I'm trying not to like run out of steam. I need to print more of those off, want a new clock. So I think we're just gonna end up taking a Target trip after this. Totally not what I need, but totally what I'm gonna do. Watching Jane the Virgin still. This is the current state of my desk. So I need to figure a lot of stuff out over here. I went through these and since I am not teaching math, I went ahead and took these out and gave them to one of the new teachers on my grade level. So yeah, still a lot. I put those bins over here. That's how I like plan out my week. This copy or this printer still doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I still have some books I need to figure out. I wanna get like little decor decorations over here. Um, I have a social studies timeline that needs to go down here that I need to print off tonight and laminate. So a lot to do, a lot to figure out. So I went to go take the sheet off of the television and was about to throw it away. And then I realized I want some sort of this creamy color. It looks a lot more yellow on here, but yeah. So I just like have that over those desks so I can have like a hideaway area and just so it's like all one color. Um, so yeah, I need to go ahead and pull this up cause you can kind of see down below and you know that that would bother me. Um, all right, one last look at what it looks like today. I've actually gotten a lot of progress done even if it doesn't look like it. Tonight I'm gonna go home and figure out some stuff to print off for that. I need to put stuff up here, but yeah, I have flexible seating over here. Yeah, now that I look over here, that needs more. Um, so yeah, today is, that's gonna be it. it. Is going to be it for classroom setup day four. Make sure that you're subscribed, make sure to like this video, make sure to comment, and then make sure that your notification bells are on so that you do not miss a setup vlog in this series. And I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.